traditional method of changing transmission fluid requires time, energy, and can often lead to disarray. But with the automatic transmission fluid exchanger machine, it is now easier than ever. Hello, my name is Ryan, and my goal today is to teach you how to safely and effectively operate this machine. There are four steps in this process. Step one, safety. Step two, connect the cooler lines. Step three, the exchange process. And step four, draining. Before we begin the transmission service, we're gonna to need to think about safety first. We need a pair of safety glasses for eye protection. We also want hand protection, so a set of gloves will do the job just fine. Now that we're protected, we want to protect the car as well with a fender cover. We want to check the vehicle for any fluid leaks, damaged hoses or belts, engine noise, or unsafe conditions. Make sure to work in a well-ventilated area. We also want to inspect the equipment for damage or missing components. Now that we have completed our precautions and safety, we can move on to preparing for service. Using the Automatic Transmission Driveline Specification Manual, look up and add the desired type and amount of automatic transmission fluid into the new fluid tank of the machine. Attach the machine to the vehicle's battery by connecting the red positive wire to the positive terminal on the battery and the black negative wire to the negative terminal on the battery. The no flow light should come on. Before starting the service, we need to check the ATF level of the transmission. If the fluid level is low, then we need to add fluid to the system. Note: Check the owner's manual to determine the correct method for checking the ATF level. We're almost ready to start the service. First we need to complete step two, connecting the adapter to the vehicle's cooler lines. Using the supplied adapter identification chart, locate the appropriate adapter specified for the vehicle. Attach the dripless coupler assembly to the adapter. The couplers are equipped with a safety lock that will prevent them from disconnecting accidentally. With the vehicle's engine off, Locate the most convenient access to the transmission cooler lines and attach the dripless adapter assembly to the cooler lines. Connect the red and black service hoses to the dripless hose adapters. Start the vehicle's engine and check for leaks. If you find any leaks, turn the vehicle off immediately. Verify that the correct adapter is being used. Secure the fitting and restart the engine. With the engine running, fluid will pass through the ATF exchanger machine. If the no flow light remains on after the flow indicator has started, the hoses will need to be interchanged. Turn the engine off, disconnect the service hoses from the dripless hose adapter and interchange the two hoses. restart the engine. The machine will indicate if the fluid is flowing in the correct direction when the start service light is illuminated. When using an ATF cleaner, you would now pour it through the transmission fill tube. Note: Certain vehicles do not have a fill tube. Watch the inline canister portion of this video for proper usage. With the engine running and the parking brake set, press the brake pedal firmly. Slowly shift through all transmission gears for approximately two minutes. Then allow the ATF cleaner to circulate through the vehicle for an additional three to five minutes. Now we're ready for my favorite step. Step three, ATF exchange process. All you have to do is just press this start service button right here. The service will continue until completed or the used fluid tank becomes full. The service complete light will come on once the service is finished. The ATF exchanger has completed the service and the machine is now in loop mode. 
check the fluid level per manufacturer's procedure. If the fluid level is too high, press and hold the drain trans pan button for 10 to 15 seconds. If the fluid level is too low, push and hold the top off button for 10 to 15 seconds. Recheck the fluid level and repeat the step if needed. When using a supplement, adjust the fluid level to slightly below full to allow space for the supplement. After the fluid level has been adjusted, turn off the engine. Remove the adapters and power cord from the vehicle and reattach the cooler lines. Start the vehicle and check for leaks at the cooler lines. No leaks were found, so the service is now complete. Now we just need to drain the used fluid tank. We are going to use the ATF exchanger's internal pump to remove fluid from the full tank. With our engines off, reconnect the machine to a 12 volt battery. Remove the service hoses from the dripless coupler and attach the open-ended hose adapter to the black service hose. Insert the black service hose into a suitable receptacle. Activate the drain used fluid switch until the used fluid tank is empty. Congratulations. You have completed the training for the ATF exchanger machine. With proper service, this wonderful machine can extend a vehicle's transmission life significantly. Thank you very much for watching.